I had uh, moved to New York, I was doing a Broadway play, and uh, it was with her sister. Her sister was in the show. Her sister told me, her sister's name is Dagmar, and Dagmar told me, you know, my little sister's coming, she's really pretty, she's a model, I think you'll like her. Pause. Okay. And she would come home from rehearsals and be like, there's this actor, and he's in the play, and he just came from LA, and he's not really New York, but I think that you would really like him. He's so handsome and so nice. But she was like trying to play matchmaker. Your sister called me really handsome? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's not weird at all. It's not. It's Thanksgiving's <laughs> going to be strange. So I saw her come in. She came in. She was 23. I was 31. And she came in like a bat out of hell. <laughs> like it was cold out. She had scarves on, earmuffs. Like she was crazy and talking and talking and, and this little thing. And I was like, I don't know if I can handle that. That was a lot. But she's stunningly beautiful. She came home. He, she, was, she was like, he likes you, but mm -mm. And, I, and I was so taken aback. Well, we all went out to lunch and my sister had already told me that he wasn't into it because I was too young and he wanted to pay for mine and my sister's lunch. And I said, great, if you pay for this lunch, then you have to let me take you out because he wasn't going to ask me out. So I asked him out. I was like, he's not getting away with this. And then I couldn't get away from her. That was it. One day, done. We were in an elevator going to visit one of my friends when he first called me his girlfriend. Yeah, that little elevator on the east side. Mm-hmm. And he was like, something, something, my girlfriend. And I was like, oh my God, he's my girlfriend. I'm <laughs> so excited. And I kind of knew from then. I did. It took him a little bit longer. Well, then the play was over and we moved, I moved back to LA and she had, a, had done a pilot, a TV show that got picked up. So she had to come to LA as, as well. And I said, you know, you can just stay with me. It's fine, we're dating. Um, and at one point, this is so strange. We were taking the garbage out to the street. <laughs> And we'd taken it down, and I started doing like a weird shuffle up the driveway. Oh, yeah. And she sort of put her head down and did the same shuffle, and I was like, man, we I think I love that girl. Like we it skipped. was a, she was so cute and like, like went along with what I was doing and put herself in, and and I and I that's what I knew. So sweet. Yeah, that's what I knew. That's I'm not sweet. sure now, but I knew oh, then. Okay, now it's like <laughs> old shoe. <laughs> old shoe. That's what I call them sometimes. Yeah. Oh, looking at what we made just because we like went out on a date, you know, looking around at like our kids and our dogs and the cat and the house and it's like, for me, it's like fairy tale. Look, a marriage is always work, right? And a relationship always takes energy and effort. But at a certain point, you don't, it's not a constant thought like, I, I got to do this, I got to do that. You know, you, there's a, a level of comfort and um, familiarity that we have and that we share and because uh, because we've been together for so long, because we've been parents for so long, um, I know what she's thinking, good and bad, before she says anything and, and vice versa, and it can uh, drive you crazy and drive her crazy and me crazy, but it also is a, uh, it's um, a really warm feeling to, to know that I got a person. We're also truly friends. Like, he's my best friend. 